thanks for stopping by my channel. Today I will be doing a collective nail polish haul that I've got within the past two months or so. As you can see, I have different brands. I have OPI, China Glaze, Butter London, um, Bonita, and a coat by OPI, and I have a base coat. I'm sorry if you guys hear some noises in the back. Today is Sunday, so it's football Sunday. So, my boyfriend is really into football and he's going to be shouting in the back, so I apologize in advance. <clears throat> but if you would like to see what I got in this haul, please stay tuned. So first of all, I wanted to show you this mini collection that I was able to get at TJ Maxx for $5.99. So like I said, this mini OPI um, call collection I got four for five ninety nine. Uh, there's a pink one called Flamingo Tin Pink, a green, a mint green one called Feel the Mojito Green, green, a white Alpine Snow, and a purple blue called You're Such a Budapest. This set I'm not gonna go more more in depth because I'm making a video just on this set by itself. So if you would like to. Um, get live swatches and a closer look at this. Watch out for that video. And I bought these Sally Hansen Hard as Nail Hardener um, Strengthening for $2.99. They are originally $3 at Walmart. So I picked up two of them. I like this base coat. It's really nice. It makes my nails really hard. And I took the bottles out, but I got two... Nicole by OPI, and this set was $5.99 at Marshalls. So I got this purple one. It's a um, texture polish. It's purple with sh um, silver shimmers running through it, and then this lime green color right here. So I took it out of the box. And then I got Essie's um, apricot oil. Yeah, apricot cuticle oil. And it's $3.99. And this one I've heard great reviews on it. I've used it up. I've used it up for two weeks or so, and I really do like it. And it does help my cuticle oil. I mean my, it does help my cuticle. Um so it's really it's really good. And for the price of $3.99 can't be that. I don't and then also at TJ Maxx and Marshall. Um I was able to get this set right here at TJ Maxx for $7.99. Let's see if you can see that. It's this um, start to finish 3-in-1 treatment and this um, nail polish. I took it out in, vamp in my vampire spa. So you get this base coat right here, a 3-in-1 plus OPI, my vampire's buff. I didn't get a chance to pick this up when it was coming out, so I'm really glad I got this set. So I get a clear base and Old Man Vampire's buff. So it's really nice. And then I went to Big Lots just to check what my Big Lots have. And they have these mini bonitas. It was 5 for $3. So I pick up the blue one, this corally orange one. This lime, no, not lime, this mint green one, this purple one, and this yellow one. I'm not going to go more in depth with these because I have a separate video as well too. So if you would like to see swatches of these, please look out for that video. And then I went to um, Cosmopro with a friend of mine and I got... Tana Glaze right here, and I got the set of Sashvi top coat. Let me go see if I can grab it. Sorry. So I got China Glaze, Bud of Corpse, which is a green texture with black running through it, and I got the Sashvi dry, fast dry top coat um, set, and it has, let's see, a 14. 
Let's see if I can just take it out of the box. So it has a four fluid ounce um, fast drying top coat for a refill. And then it also came with a regular um, 0.5 fluid ounce. And then it has a funnel where you can refill it. So I thought that was really a good deal. I think I got this for um, $11. Um, I I don't know. I like chest feet. I know there are some benefits that people don't like about chest feet because it may cause um, issues. But for me, I like it because it's fast drying and I don't wear my nail polish that um, long. So I take it off. And then um, because I bought that set, I got this uh, mini spa cuticle gel for free. I like the smell of it. It is great for you. It does help me with my cuticle. I really do like it. And then I went to Sally's and I got this um, base coat, a yellow stopper base coat. And then I picked up this Sally Girls nail polish. And then I also went and got this huge jug of nail polish remover by the brand Beauty Secrets. I know it's new, but I took it out and put it in a Zoya um, nail polish so I can use a pump. So that's why it's almost done. And then, oh, from um, Cosmoprof, I was able to get, um, I also got Comet in the Sky from the Gwen Stefani collection. I like this one because of the iridescent glitters running through it. And then I had a $10 off coupon and yesterday the 29th was the last day to use it. So I bought Wallace for $5 because of that coupons. I've always wanted this. It's really unique and different and I don't have anything like it. So I'm glad I was able to buy it. I was I kept on always waiting for the 2 for 15 but every time that would come around I wouldn't get a chance to go to Ulta. So that $10 off came really handy in time. And then I went to TJ Maxx again, and I was able to get this one. It's from the Halloween collection with um, Charlie Brown in them. And this one is called To Be or Not To Be Girl. And it's just this glitter color with black glitters, red, blue, light blue, orange, and you can see a little lime green. So yeah. I will swatch the, a few of these polishes, so if you would like to see them, please stay tuned. So the first set of polishes that I will be swatching is OPI My Vampire's Buff, which is a nude cream. And this, cell, this glitter by Sally Girl called Bikini it has um, pink, uh, light pink glitters, blue glitters, and this lime green color. So, so far I have one swatch of it on my pinky and then one swatch of my Vampire's Buff by OPI. So I'll go ahead and swatch my Vampire's Buff. The formula is really nice and easy to work with. It glides on really well. And then now I will be swatching Bikini by Sally Girls. It's hard because it has a, it has those white flakes, but getting the big glitters is really hard. You have to really fish for it. So that's one of the negatives so far that I've seen. So I'll go ahead and paint two coats and I'll get back. But so far here's one coat each. So here is two coat each of my Vampire is Buff and I topped my middle finger with the Sally Glitter um, Girl and Bikini and two coats of it here. I had to really fish for the big pink glitters but they look pretty pretty as a topper. And here is my Vampire is Buff. The next two polish that I will be swatching is this lime green color by Nicole Bio P.I. Lay it on the line. This one has one swatch of it. It is pretty patchy and you can still see my nail blend. But here is one coat on my middle finger so that you can see how the formula is. Like I said, it's pretty patchy. And then now I will be painting OPI to be or not to beagle. 
This is a glitter color topper with multi glitter. It has bar glitter, um, blue, red, green, yellow, as you can see. So I'll go ahead and paint two coats each and I'll get back. So here's two coats each of to be or not to be gold. As you can see, my ring finger right here, it has two coats and it does have more different colors in there and I decided to put it over Lay Down the Line by Nicole by OPI. It's a pretty different and unique um, top coat. I don't have anything like it. So I'm glad I was able to pick it up for $3. And here is Nicole by OPI, Lay Down the Line. Sorry if the light changes a little, it's getting darker, so I went and put on my light bulb, turned the light on, so if it's still... So here it is, two, one coat each of Comet in the Sky by OPI, and Nicole by OPI texture polish in I Lie Like Gumdrop. So I'll go ahead and paint two coat, uh, a set of coat, one coat of OPI I Lie Like Gumdrop. It's just this lilac color, sheer tint with silver shimmers and silver flakes. And then on my ring, my middle finger, I will be painting one coat of Comet in the Sky. With the big um, glitters, I might have to do a little dabbing. So I'll go ahead and paint two coats and I'll get back. Here it is, two coats each of Nicole by OPI. I literally like gumdrops. This purple, lilac purple with shiv um, silver and gold shimmers and flakes. And then OPI Comet in the Sky. Once again, if you guys do hear noises in the back, it's Sunday football and Ajashi is really crazy about it, so I apologize in advance. But here it is. I really like this color on itself by itself and over a dark color. The iridescent color does not pop up by itself, but over a dark color it does pop up like how it is in the bottle. Last but certainly not least is China Glaze, um, but of course, and Butter London Wallace. So here's one coat each on my two fingers right here already. So I'll go ahead and swatch China Glaze. But of course, on my ring finger. This is a really weird um, texture. It's kind of a combination of um, texture. And it's weird because it has those dark um, polishes. So it's really hard to work with and this is Butter London Wallace it is this um, olive shimmer in a clear black base so I'll go ahead and paint two coats and I'll get back so here's two watch each of China Glaze but of course on my ring finger and my pinky finger and Two coats each of Butter London Wallace, which is this olive um, color in a light black base. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this collective nail polish haul and live swatch video. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. I really appreciate um, feedbacks. Let me know which one out of all of these is your favorite. Mine is, of course, Wallace. It's been a lemming of mine so i'm so glad i got it and of course being able to get um opi my vampire's buff is a bonus so today i would like to end this video with a quote from what we get we can make a living what we give however makes a life arthur ash thank you so much for stopping by thanks take care and see you next time